Hey guys, this is Bunny Soap, and I apologize for not putting out any videos for the past month because I've been just so busy with schoolwork and studying like a mad woman. So this weekend I found some time to do some time to do some soap videos, and I'm gonna start with a company called Creamery Creek Farm Gold Milk Soap. It's run by Kim and Jelly, and this is their business card. It's a really cute goat on the front. Okay. Uh, with each order, it comes with a paper providing information on their goat milk soap. And it basically tells you that their goat milk soap are rejuvenating and moisturizing on the skin. It's also very gentle and mild, and it also helps the skin maintain its natural balances making it less vulnerable to bacteria invasions and such. It's also beneficial for people who have dry skin, some people who have skin with eczema, psoriasis, or sun or wind burn, etc. So, uh, I believe this information is also provided on their website, which is creamerycreek.com. Also came with a really cute note. Handwritten note. Okay, so off to start. Each bar of soap is looks like this. It is it weighs around six to seven ounces, and it comes packaged into a. Okay, this is their packaging. It comes packaged like this. So it basically has the Creamery Creek logo on the front with a cute goat, and then on top it has the name of the soap. On the bottom, it has their website information, where they're located at, and on the back, it has ingredients. Um, the basic ingredients of each bar of soap includes fresh goat milk, saponified oils, which include olive oil, coconut oil, palm oil, castor oil, avocado oil, and soybean oil, and then it includes shea butter and also the fragrance oil. For example, in some bars of soaps, there is additional clay that they add. I'm going to mention that as I go through the video. Okay, so basically, I'm going to start. <laughs> what am I doing? Um, the first one here is called Mandarin Orange. Looks like this. It has the basic ingredients of a bar of soap and the fragrance oil of Mandarin Orange has a beautiful stamp on the top saying beautiful skin Cranberry Creek it has a gorgeous gorgeous swirl throughout the whole bar it has a light orange and medium orange and then white throughout so. the scent of this bar of soap is really just beautiful it's very light it's very um it's citrusy definitely have some orange tint of scent in it. Mm. A tint of orange, yep. Oh, very nice for people who love fruity scents, like I do. Next soap here is probably my favorite. It is called Peach Devine. And this one has basic ingredients of a soap, but it also has pink clay in it, yep. Comes in a very nice light co coral salmon pink color, which my camera is not really picking up. The scent of this is amazing. It's um, a little bit more stronger than the other soaps. Um, and it has a mix of the goat's milk milkiness in it. So it smells like peach and a little tint of um, milk. <laughs> Next soap we have here is called Black Raspberry Vanilla. Has a basic ingredients of the creamy Greek soaps and it also has in the middle grounded vanilla. And this is for the purpose of a gentle exfoliation. It's all only in the middle of the bar. So this bar soap is also strongly scented but even though when I say that their bar of soap is strongly scented, it is not like 
commercial soaps which are really strong. What I mean is that it is stronger than the other ones but it's still very subtle. So this one has a nice raspberry vanilla scent to it. So, okay. Um, next one we have is called, let me find a paper, okay, blueberry scrub. And this one has the essentials of the ingredients for the bar soap and it also has blueberry seeds. And this is also for the purpose of an exfoliation. It's throughout the whole bar. Scent wise, I can't really smell anything. But it just, it does have a really clean, fresh scent of blueberries. Not an artificial one, but it's very, very light and hard to pick up for me. Next one over here, we have, is called Mediterranean Sea Salt. So, just the name. And it also has the essential ingredients for the bar soap. And it also has dead sea clay in it, yeah. So you can see that the gorgeous swirl throughout the whole bar. Okay. And this is a new scent for me. And I absolutely adore this. Because... It reminds me most of the ozonic, the ocean-like scents. Kind of very clean. So if you're really, really fond of like beach, um, not beach. It's not tropical or anything. It's more like a... It's very hard to explain, but I would say it's more oceanic, you know, those type of scents. Really amazing. I love this. And the last one we have here is called Bulgarian White Rose. So, yep. So this one doesn't have any other included uh, ingredients other than the basics. I'm really fond of this soap because, mostly because um, the scent is really beautiful and also how it's the stamp on top is just beautiful and very unique. So what I do will be what I do is cut around the rose <laughs> and then use this last. For the scent of this soap, it's very the soap the soap um sorry, the rose scent is very realistic to me and it has a very powdery touch as well. It's very nice. And then, she, um, and then Shelly gave me a few samples and she was really generous. She gave me this really cute, cute flower mold soap. And this was in red clover tea. It's very soothing. It's very uh, tea-like. It's very relaxing. Mmm. It's really beautiful. I have tried a little sample of this before. Although the scent in the bar form is really gorgeous, uh, it changes a little bit for me in the shower. This one over here is called Plumeria. Definitely has a stronger floral note to it. Mm -hmm. Okay. This one over here is called Aloe and French clay. Aloe French clay, yeah. I believe this one has some French green clay in it. I'm not sure. But the scent is very subtle as well. It's light. There is a scent to it. It's not unscented, but it's very light. Okay. And cleanish, kind of. Um, the last sample that I received is called honey almond oatmeal the strongest note in this sample is oatmeal in the almond I don't really smell any honey it also has some oatmeal throughout the whole bar for some exfoliation for the purpose of exfoliation mm -hmm. okay so I'm gonna talk a little bit about their soap and 
this is not my first time ordering. It's just that I never really got a chance to do a video for their soaps. And I asked Shelly if I could, and she didn't mind. Um, so, I get... Mm, I use these mostly for my face because they work really well. Although they are not natural and they do have fragrance oil in it, they are really soothing for my face because I get these, um, sometimes I get, um, those, um, really deep, deep pimples. They're not pimples, they're more like cysts and they're like inflammations. And they take a really, really long time to go away. And you can't just like take them out and pop them because they're down deep into the root of your skin. And what basically these soaps that I find works the best for me is that they really help relieve the inflammations as best as they could. And it's an immediate relief. It's not like um, use it 10 days and then so. And they definitely relieve and reduce the inflammations a lot. It also helps with my just naturally um, surface pimples as well. And they're really moisturizing and really good for my dry skin. So there's no reason for me not to like these at all. Um, yeah. So, and also, like, for if you don't like strongly scented soap, sometimes I get headaches from too much perfume or too much fragment, frag, fragranced uh, soaps and I really just want a simple a uh, nice subtle scent and these really work oops these really work really well okay and basically this concludes my review for Creamery Creek and I hope you guys liked it if you have any other questions you can go ahead and comment or ask me through my inbox and I'll be more, to, more than happy to help you and answer those questions. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye.